Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. This is a this is a landmark case as we sort of look to the future in terms of decolonization, because whether we whether sort of we win or we lose, it's important. Several years ago, Arnold Dave Davis filed a lawsuit after he was prohibited from registering to vote on Guam's political status. As it stands, Guam law only allows descendants of the territory dating back to 1950 to participate in a plebiscite. Davis has argued that the Constitution, the Organic Act, and the Voting Rights Act all provide that every citizen be treated equally and have the same political voice. Commission on Decolonization member and Independence for Guahan Task Force leader, Dr. Michael Bavakwa. What it comes down to is that, you know, uh, Dave Davis, who is a uh, Caucasian who lives on Guam, he, um, he feels like he should participate in a particular vote known as a decolonization vote. And the people who can participate that, in that are on something called a decolonization registry. And so the, in order to sort of be eligible for that, you have to uh, be what's called native inhabitant of the island. And this is a legal term that comes from those who were recognized through the Organic Act by the United States and received citizenship. And so his argument is that this registry and this vote are race-based, and that denies him his constitutional rights as a U.S. citizen. On Thursday morning, the District Court of Guam will officially hear the case. Special Assistant Attorney General Julian Uggen is representing the government of Guam on the matter. Bavakwa says the decolonization vote isn't like a vote for a senator or governor or even the president of the United States, but rather an internationally recognized process to address those who have been denied to self-determination. And this should be a moment where all of those who are not included don't look and say, oh, we're, we're excluded, you know, this is racist, but they should look and say, yeah, you know, the Chamorro people have not been treated well over the years. This is a chance where we can support them as they make this symbolic choice. And for people who may not be aware or think they shouldn't care, Bavakwa hopes this lawsuit would help educate others and hopefully serve as a wake-up call. Oftentimes you don't realize that something is important until somebody has threatened it or somebody has, is, is about to take it away from you. In the meantime, as of early August, there were 11,343 people registered on the decolonization registry. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.